Hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 1st, 2020. A group of senators, both Democratic and Republican, have uh, put together a $908 billion stimulus package proposal. And I will cover what is inside the stimulus package proposal a bit later in my program, if you'll stick with me on that, on that one. Um, the senators that are proposing this bill are... Going to be, I'll I'm going to be put their name up on my upper left hand corner of my screen so you can see their names. In fact, I'll put them up there right now for you. And this $908 billion bill is a watered down version of the stimulus package. Of a stimulus package. It's like uh, Mitch McConnell's $500 billion bills that he wants to try to pass and then try to blame Nancy Pelosi because. He's not trying to help the people. He's trying to help the businesses. Well, the people also are what make the businesses go. So he, he should help out everybody. But except Nancy Pelosi will not like this proposal at all. But if this passes the Senate, since it is basically a Senate written up bill, they're hoping that it will put pressure on the House of Representatives to pass it before the, the House goes on vacation. Otherwise, nothing will be get nothing will get done. And the House goes on vacation in exactly eight days, and the Senate goes on vacation in thirteen days. So basically, we have eight days to pass the stimulus package, or we all get to suffer till next year. Won't that be nice? At least that's what I think the um, senators and the House representatives thinks is that well, we have all this money, we have all the food, so they don't have nothing. Let them stay that way. Let them starve. This is what I think they believe because they're playing this game for so long. The Problem Solvers Caucus was also in on the creating of this bill, besides the lower ranked Republicans and Democrats in the Senate. The Problem Solvers Caucus is a group of 50 Democrats and Republicans from the House of Representatives. And then also we have the Senators that are also Democratic and Republican from the Senate. So, um, according to Mitt Romney, from his press conference today, only four, $348 billion is new money going into the stimulus package proposal. The rest of it is repurposed money from the CARES Act of a total of $560 billion. So, basically, that rounds up to $908 billion. And, basically... I'm actually going to give you a little uh, post of on my upper left-hand corner of what's in the stimulus package so you guys can see what's in it. And as you d will realize that there is one thing that is very valuable missing, and that is a stimulus check for the people. They're proposing $300 a week for four months, which is $1,200 a month of unemployment times four months. So they're going to get $4,800 in those four months. Well, okay, what about the people that applied for unemployment that don't qualify for it for one reason or another? That's not, that unemployment's not going to help. They're not, they're not offering uh, money to go out for a uh, direct payments or a stimulus check. So those people will be left out. They're offering money for uh, pay tech protection. They're offering money for transit. They're offering six months of liability protections for COVID related illness, for COVID related uh, problems in businesses compared to what uh, Mitch McConnell wants, which is five years. And Nancy Pelosi believes that five years is too long because they, she thinks that we'll have this, this disease taken and controlled by the end of this year. So she thinks maybe one year at best would be good for the um, liability protection. And they like said there's there's a lot of a lot of things in there as well. There's money there for transit, as well as I mean they threw what was it? I can't remember exactly what they threw in there with transit. But they threw another thing in there with the transit that sort of uh, confusing. But they like said transit is in there as well as other things in there as well. So they like said if you want this thing in the upper right hand left hand corner of my screen, you'll see everything that's in the proposed stint uh, covered relief bill that these senators are trying to end problem solvers caucus is trying to propose and on our COVID 19 front we have reported 167,579 
new cases on Monday with 1,265 fatalities. As our numbers rise, our help from our Senate decreases. Isn't that just nice? Because our Senate is going by the GDP, which is the gross domestic product, which is our import and export. And just because our import and export is doing good doesn't mean that our people are doing good. And our Senate does not see that, and they refuse to see that. But until next time, um, please remember that I want you all to stay safe. If you can get some food in your stomachs, please do, because it's very important that you stay alive and that we survive this pandemic so we can get the corruption out of the politicians, or shall we say, out of the Congress, which is very important. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And remember, this is and always will be the People's Sinners Check and Sinners Package Update. And remember, we're all set, all in this together. We basically, all we got is each other. We don't got the politicians because comes playing games and so the sen the senators and the House representatives. So until next time, have a wonderful night. Bye. <laughs>